going to read this evening and listen to the Bandai Akos. Because uh, at this point, we have 10 weekends left. Hey! I have the rostrum. I have the microphone. And what I say is important. And I'll be the last speaker. We have 10 weeks left, folks. And I want to thank Kirk, I want to thank Donna, and I want to thank Maya for giving all of us the opportunity to complete the unfinished business of two years ago. Yes. How many times were there two years ago? We have finished that. Remember two years ago? What did we have? A special election. Because then mayor decided to run for governor. And Kirk stepped up to fill the void to move us forward as our mayor. That's the unfinished business I'm talking about. We got 10 weeks, not much time, 67 days. And so I want to thank Kirk, Donna, Maya, for coming forward again, for putting you guys selves out there on behalf of all of us here. How about a round of applause for Kirk, Donna, and Maya? Filipino. 
don't know for sure. No, really, um, you know, it, I, I think it's, it's so important. It, it's so important, folks. And I think if there's anything I can share to you this evening is that you need to go home, uh, talk to your family and friends, and tell them how important it is. And we can go back, we finish up the work we started two years ago. And you're going to find many people out there, many people out there realize they made a mistake. They made a mistake. Even one of the candidates, you know, that short, grumpy guy. <laughs> I'm not going to name him, but you guys know who I'm referring to, a short, grumpy guy. Get the tall holly guy to the other holly guy, two holly guys, yeah? Get the local holly guy over here, and get the other holly guy, right? But the short, grumpy guy actually supported the tall, holy guy. You guys remember that? Yes. That's true. That's fact. The short, grumpy guy actually stumped for the tall, holy guy. But I supported this tall, okay, not tall, but <laughs> nice, handsome, local holy boy from Gilo by Bahu. As the next year. As the next year. You know, finally, I just wanted to uh, thank Kirk, and um, I don't know if uh, his office manager is here, but, you know, when I first met Kirk back in the legislature back in 2002, I kept on calling him Kurt. <laughs> Is Kurt in? <laughs> and so she would say, Marcus, it's Kurt. <laughs> Kurt. <laughs> Kurt Caldwell. Yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever. <laughs> Talk to your boss. So I had to really spend time working on pronouncing his name. And that's why it's such a dear, important name to me. So he said, you know, Marcus, to help you, just think about Star Trek, Starship Enterprise, and Captain James Kirk. And you know what? I still do that today. When I look at his name called Dr. Kurt Caldwell, it's important. So I hope all of you remember that you need to do that. Kirk Caldwell, you know, the captain of the uh, Starship Enterprise, <laughs> who's going to take us to where no man has gone before, <laughs> to new adventures and new horizons, sights unseen for all of us. We don't want the other two guys. I think one is uh, um, Captain Crunch and Captain Kangaroo. 